you're visualizing, right? Um, every day you're trying to create in your mind something different, right? If that makes sense, every day you're trying to visualize that great life. You're trying to imagine what it would be to live a fulfilled life, to live a rich life, to live an abundant life. But sometimes reality sucks, right? You know, sometimes, you know, you want to wake up with a positive attitude. Then your co-worker sends you this stupid-ass email. Your boss tells you to do something dumb. They tell you that you're on probation at work. Your child's um, school calls you and say, hey, little Jimmy is having a hard time. He's disrupting class. Or you find out that someone's cheating on you. Or maybe you find out that your aunt, uncle, or maybe mother it just got diagnosed with a terminal illness. So the question is, I get this a lot. I say, Wesley, how do I deal with this? I was having a conversation with one one guy that I'm, I'm mentoring and he asked me he said man Wesley what do I need to do you know I'm worried about paying my bills and I'm trying to stay positive I'm trying to visualize I'm trying to use my imagination but um, you know it's, it's hard I'm worrying constantly trying to stay afloat you know what am I doing am I doing something wrong I don't know anybody you know you're the only person I know that's doing very well in life that's a millionaire and you know I just Man, I don't have anybody that I could depend on. So what I want to do in this video. Hey, what's up, Daniel? Tanya! What's up? Hey, guys, make sure you share and like this video right now. For all you guys that don't know me, you want to be introduced to Mr. Virgin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm looking fly, huh? I know. I know. I'm looking fly because I'm happy because I'm rich. But <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Um, Right now, today, I'm, I'm in my Maserati, guys, you know? Um... And I'm in a special place, and I'm going to show you guys in a second where I'm at. And I'm going to show you, okay, and I want to give you guys some tools here, something that you can do right now, about three or four things that you can do to keep your mind focused, even though you're around the bullshit. Think about this. It was so funny. It wasn't fun. It's kind of unfortunate. Yesterday in Houston, Texas, you know, this dumbass lawyer, I guess, upset about his job, and he starts shooting people. Shooting people, right? And, you know, I have a friend that's in Romania. He sent me a Skype and said, Wesley, are you okay? You know, I heard about the shooting. I had, I had no clue that this happened. And I had no clue that this happened at all. And some people say, wow, Wesley, you don't know what's going on in the world. Um, you're not, like, you're not connected. And I'm not. And I'm going to explain it in this video, okay? What's up, Talisha? Lord, guys, please send your boy Wesley some love. Guys, please, if I got white teeth right now, give me a like, give me a share, share it out, baby, because this is going to be a great video, because see, even if you're at work right now, on your day, if you use this today for the next 14 days, I did this, I swear to God, I do this every day now, but I did it for like 30, I've been doing it for years, actually, but the first 30 days um, allowed me to have more peace of mind. Anybody want peace of mind? Um, when I say peace of mind... When I did this for 30 days, I no longer was worried about my bills. Even though I didn't have a job because I quit it. Because I wanted to be all in when it came to my business. Um, I had peace of mind about life. And when I had this peace of mind, I wasn't so connected to the outcome anymore. Does that make sense? I wasn't so worried about, am I going to get the goal? When is this going to happen? Damn, I'm doing everything right. Why is it not happening for me? Uh, when I did these techniques that I'm going to share with you in, in a second, um, I swear to God, it's a personal story. All my bills were paid, and I didn't even have a job. I didn't have much money in the bank, but it all showed up. And I want to give this gift to you, okay? Now, it's going to be unconventional, but it's going to be easy stuff, okay? Let me see this down for a second. Um, so please take a note, okay? First thing. Now, you notice... Let me show you where, you, where I'm at, guys. You see this? Now, I've been showing this quite a bit, right? Now, this is my... You know, this is my dream, right? This is my dream to own this property. I already own it in my mind. It's going to cost me about a million dollars just to get the property. As you see, they cut the grass here. 
I paid about four hundred dollars to get that done, even though I don't own the property. Guys, seriously, well, this is the first thing, and this is when times were very difficult for me personally. Okay, this is the time that um, I was working a job at the time. I was running a boot camp, and I was trying to get my business to work, and it was a struggle. But every day. For years, I would come out of here. Guys, I didn't have I didn't have five thousand dollars in the bank at this time. Not even a thousand. I remember this. And and I'm in a neighborhood right now in Houston, Texas. Um, I'm not gonna say what the neighborhood is, but you should know what it is. But um, if you live in Houston, but it's a very let me let me share something with you. The homes here. Yeah, Yolanda Adams have a home back here. Um, James Harden, the football player. Oh, I'm sorry, the basketball player has a home. Uh, many, even the the president of Mexico has a home back here. Just to give you a a thought of how much it costs to be back here, um, you know, from two million to five million dollars. But every day after the gym, and I want you to do this, I will just drive my car. I had a broke down Range Rover because it was breaking down. No one knew, you know. I just kept it clean, right? And um, I used to just drive around and it only took me about five minutes guys I swear to God you know I tell you this story because at the time it almost didn't make sense I said I'm driving through this neighborhood every day I'm looking at these damn houses I don't even have a thousand dollars in my bank account I'm at a job that I really fucking hate you know I'm doing stuff that I don't like I'm living where I don't want to live I got all these pictures these dream boards on my wall and I'm driving through this neighborhood every single day but I did it. For five minutes, I would just drive around, guys. And I would look at these houses and I said, you know what? I'm going to be here. This is my house. Oh, I love this. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. Oh, I love this. Okay, yeah, I'm going to cut it like this. And I'm going to just... I would sit at a park. It was a park back there. And I used to sit down at the park. Okay? And I used to just sit there and look. And I, and I started to daydream because see, let me share you, let me share why I did that and why you have to do it like at least every day. Because in the beginning, I said, Wesley, you can't, how are you going to afford this? See, I think people like yourself, in your mind, you, you think, you say, how am I going to be able to afford a $5 million home when I'm staying in an apartment that I can't even pay my rent on time? Guys, I was in that situation, no one knew. And I used to look at these places, homes, and the reason why I had to do it every day because I needed it to stick. See, I'm a firm believer that repetition is the mother of skill. What's up, Talisha? What's up, Laura? What's up, Ryan? What's up? What's up? Whoa, guys, what's up? What's up, Nikki? What's going on? Um, the thing is, I believe that, I really believe this from my heart, that repetition is the mother's, I swear to God. Guys, if there's anything that you could take from this video, I did it, I swear to God, for for three years, I rolled around in this neighborhood. It's called Royal Oaks, I'll tell you, Royal Oaks, guys. Because um, one day I'm going to invite you to my big party I'm going to have out here. Um, and see, so here, like this home, um, I think it's um, a guy that owns the dealership. Um, this is like a $3 million home here, right? All around here, right? Councils, right? And I used to come out here only because I had to see something different. Does it make sense? Guys, let me say it one more time. The only reason I had to come in these type of neighborhoods, even though I was broke as a joke, even though it was no possible way logically in my mind that I could ever be out in these type of places, like driving a Maserati, right? Hundred thousand out of the Oka, right? I'm driving right now. Out here, about to buy a home. But years ago, driving my old Range Rover, no money in my pocket, right? Barely enough to pay my bills. And I came out here every day because I understood one thing. That if I wanted something different, I had to see something different. See, a lot of you guys, you believe that you're so fucking smart and intelligent. You're like, oh, no, man, I just read the book one time. Oh, man, I just had a good motivational speak. I just had a good meeting with this guy. He told me some good stuff. I'm going to kill it. It is on. 
our brains don't work that way. Whatever you see, whatever you experience most of the time is what becomes real to you. See, most of you guys, you're chilling with your regular friends, you're going to your regular job, you're hanging out with regular people, right? Um, you're doing regular stuff. And you expect the hard work that you're doing today to change. But what I'm telling you, that should have never changed. It doesn't matter how hard you work. If you keep seeing the same old house, old apartment, the same people every single day, Pookie and Ray Ray, lazy people, you know, people that say, I should do this, man, I need to work out. I should start a business. I need to be more consistent. I'm trying. If you keep staying around people like this, you keep seeing regular average stuff, it doesn't matter how hard you work. It doesn't matter how hard you believe. It doesn't matter how much passion you have. You'll never experience anything like this. You know why? Because you've never seen it. See, guys, some people, they think I'm boastful. Some people think I am trying to be a bragger. The only reason I show you my Maserati, I show you these neighborhoods, I show you my cars, my trips around the world, because if you see it, it becomes real. Does that make sense? See, I can tell you all day. I can say, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna buy this house, I'm gonna buy this car. But if you never experience and never see Wesley Virgin actually purchase the car or purchase the home or take trips around the world in first class or go to five-star hotels, see me smiling and laughing with people around the world, it never becomes real to you. Understand this. More than 80% of people in the world are visual people. Are you visual? Visual people. That means that what we see you know what's so funny? So many people that I'm inspired because I get emails every day and say, man, Wesley, thank you for your videos. Thank you for showing us that people like me and you can make millions of dollars if we work our ass off and if we get out of our comfort zone. Right now, years ago, I had to get out of my comfort zone. Let me give you number two. Okay? Number one is Every day, you need to get around something. I don't care if it's going to a Bentley dealership every single day. I did it. I used to go to the Rolls Royce dealership every night, 12 o'clock on Sunday nights. I know some of you guys remember. Every Sunday, I was there at 12 midnight, sitting in the car. Every day after the gym, as you can see, I still got the same ritual. I got the same habit. I'm this is probably going to cost me $1 million. The house itself is going to cost me $3 million. Technology home. I'm having seven exotic cars in the front. I'm gonna have five garages. I'm a, a beautiful pool in the back. It's gonna be an all window home in the back. It's gonna be amazing. With a touch of a button, all the doors open. Okay. We're already putting up the blueprints. We start in January. Number two. Your bills. When you go home and you check your mailbox and you get a bill, do not put that fucking bill on your bar don't put it where you see it does that make sense get up let me let me show you when you get up and you see a bill on the table does that make you feel happy or sad right or you get pissed off are you are you excited to see that light bill are you excited to see the rent are you excited to see that you got to pay money to the IRS are you excited to see a, a water bill do not put bills in your face do not put them on the kitchen counter i'm telling you guys what i do if you come to my house you don't see any bills if you ever have the luxury to come to my home or my condo you will see checks on my bar ask my mate ask myself checks and money you know what i put bills i put them in my office i don't put bills around me because i don't want that a part of my consciousness See, when I see a bill, when you see a bill, how do you feel? You're like, God damn, I got to pay this bill. See, you ain't thinking about your dream. You're not thinking about 
<laughs> a Maserati. You ain't thinking about a, um, a Lamborghini. Uh, you're not thinking about trips to Fiji. You're thinking about, damn, I got a fucking bill I got to pay tomorrow. And guess what? You see this bill every day. You're conditioning your mind. Pay bills, pay bills, pay bills, pay bills, pay bills. Move these bills out of your line of sight, guys. I learned this from a billionaire. He said, Weston, don't do not put bills on your kitchen counter. Put them somewhere that you can't see it. I'm not saying don't pay them, but don't put them where you see them every day. This is what I want you to do. I want everybody to do this today when you get home. Put checks. This is a true story. You can ask my last mate, okay? I used to write. I got, you know, I went to the bank one day, right? And I got a whole bunch of checks. Ten checks. And I wrote out checks. I said, you know, one day I'm a, I'm writing out this check to the um, Corvette I'm going to buy, the Maserati I'm going to buy, $100,000. I'm writing out this $5 million check to the home I'm going to buy. That's $5 million. I'm writing out a check to the G-Wagon I'm going to buy. I wish I could find these checks. They're somewhere in my office. But I used to write all these checks out. I used to sign them. I put the date when I felt that it was going to be accomplished. And I used to leave these checks. Yeah, this is true stories, guys. Because as you can see, I'm living a fucking dream, guys. I am rich. I ain't filthy rich yet, but I am rich. I'm comfortably poor, according to Felix Dennis. Right? We got about two million. Right? Cash. Cash. Right? Okay? Make that clear. I used to put checks. When I come in my home, checks were on my bar. And I see these checks and I got excited. I used to put checks on my wall. I used to put money. I used to leave like a stack of money, a couple of hundreds, just there so I can see it. So when I would come home from work, I would see those hundred dollars. I was like, man, man, I see those hundred dollars, baby. Yeah. I said, man, we got money, huh? Because I was conditioning my brain. I was conditioning my brain that money comes to me easily and effortlessly. I was training myself. And by doing that, I attracted it. Guys, write this shit down, please. Guys, thanks for the shares and likes. Share this video out. This is a good video because I gave you some techniques how to create your imagination. Understand that you're not too smart. That if you do something run time, okay? You cannot be very successful if you're not around successful stuff. You cannot be very successful if you're not around successful people. If you're not seeing opulence. If you're not seeing things that you desire. Don't worry about that you can't afford it. Who gives a f Who cares if you can't afford it? So what? You know what I've learned? Most people that got this shit, they can't afford it either. It's all good, baby. Trust me. I know a lot of guys that can't afford it and they're paying it out. But don't worry about that. Your goal every day, I don't care if it's five minutes when you get off of work, all I want you to do is go somewhere either go to the home of your dreams you ain't got to go in the home man i used to just sit out here you see this i park my car i turn it off and you know what i would do i would just look around just like i'm doing today what's up baby <laughs> what's up baby hey i'm about to i'm about to <laughs> that's my boy right there so you know what's so funny these guys he's a security he's been seeing me for four years four years and you know, some of you folks are just scared to go in these places. Say, so Wesley, what if they say I can't go in? Be confident. You know what I used to say when I come to Royal Oaks? All right? It's a gated community, dog. In case, just to give you a, just, I mean, all these homes, 500000 and above, okay? All the way up to like maybe $10 million. I used to say, you know, I'm going to the clubhouse. I got to go train somebody. Yeah, I lied. So what? I was willing to break the rules to chase my dream. And you came to a point that I used to, I remember, look at this. I used to park my car way back there. And I remember people, it was in one of these houses, this lady, she used to call the security on me and say, hey, who is this guy? This black truck, he's always back there. And they used to come back. And you know what? The security came to me. He said, hey, man, what are you doing? I said, man, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm dreaming. I swear to God, I did. I said, man, I'm dreaming. He said, all right, brother, but you can't really be like this. Go in the front a little bit. But he understood. And now they look at me and say, damn, man, you did it. Because I keep pulling all my cars. They say, damn, well, you did it, huh? I say, yeah, I did. Buy me a home back here now. What I'm saying is, guys, you can't be scared to break the rules. But you have, for your imagination to work properly, you can't keep being around mediocre, uh, mediocre things. 
things that are average. You can't. I'm telling you, you see, if you're sitting in your office every day and you're just working, working away, working away, working away, right? That's all you're doing. Work, 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 work. But you're never going out there to experience and seeing things that's going to make you feel like motivated or inspired or good. Come on, guys. It'll never happen for you. You know why? Because you will never be able to have a picture in your mind. You know what? Unofficial mentor. Holton Bug said this. He's one of the top network marketers in the world. He says, you get what you picture. You don't get what you want out of life. A lot of people want a lot of shit. They want a lot of stuff. You know, they want cars, money, Lamborghinis, cars, whatever. They want a lot of stuff. But he said that you get what you picture. So what you see every day it starts to become a part of your consciousness. And you start to imagine, you're like, man, you know what? I can live here. See, at first you're gonna say, how can I live here? I can't afford this, it's okay. That's just your mind. It's okay. But your job is what? To nurture the mind. Take the seed, water the seed, nurture the seed, let the sun shine that is not your doing. The sun, that's God. The rain, that's God. You, your responsibility is to nurture, is to take your ass and take your butt and get in your vehicle and get around things like this. Go look at it. Go test drive the cars. Every day. This is how we got here. This is how I was able to keep my imagination going even though my reality sucked. Even though the business was failing. It was failing, guys. The money was non-existent. But every time I would look at this, I said, you know, but it's possible. Every time I would see somebody walking their dog, I said, it's possible. I said, it's possible because they doing it. So I know it's possible. You cannot sit in your office every day. You can't just sit in your your home, your home office, your business, or you know, at your house every day and think that you're going to dream of this magical shit when you ain't never seen it. You got to get out there experience. You got to let the wind hit your face, baby. I'm out here. It feels good. It smells good out here. People look good. They happy. I talk to them and say, hey, what's going on? How are you? Hey, they say, what do you do? You play basketball? No, I don't. I'm a businessman. I don't hoop. I don't throw footballs, I just look like it. Right? So guys, I hope you wrote that down. I hope you guys have any questions out there. What's up, Sonya? What's up? Nikki, what's up? You guys, share and like this video. I appreciate that. What's up, Chris? You guys, share and like this video out. You know, I guess I'm going to start coming on at these times because we have more people viewing. And guys, I appreciate you. I love you. But remember, first thing is, every day, I don't care if it's five minutes, Please, I'm sharing this from my heart, guys. You know, I'm a millionaire. I'm not saying that to bows. I swear to God, I'm not. Guys, I'm one of the most humble people you ever meet. You have no idea. Do your research on me. Search me in Google. I do a lot of good for the world. But I want to be transparent. I want to be honest with you. I got to show you this shit for you to be motivated. I got to show you my cars. I got to show you the homes. I got to show you my travel stuff. Because that's going to motivate you. But at the same time, I have to give you tools. I have to be practical first thing every day for five minutes, ten minutes. Just go somewhere that you want to be. Go experience something every day. Go see something that's different from your current reality. Wake up your mind. You got to see different pictures. Okay? You got to see something different too. Do not put bills on your kitchen counter. Please write this down while you're sharing and liking this video. Because I know you feel me. Because you say, oh man, that makes sense. I know some of you guys are going to, yeah, that makes sense. Because every time I look at my bill, I feel fucking pissed off, right? Don't put your bills in front of you. Go check the mailbox. See what it is. Either throw them away, right? You know what bills you got to pay. Water, light, cell phone. It's not that difficult, okay? You don't need to keep a log of your bills. 
Put it somewhere that you can't see. Put it in the drawer, close it. Put checks. Go to the bank. I'm telling you, I know it sounds stupid, weird, unconventional, but Wesley Virgil did this. It made me a millionaire. Right? Doing this stuff. In the beginning, I didn't understand it, but someone told me to do it. That was very successful. So I said, fuck it. What do I have to lose? I went to the bank. I got checks. I was negative. I mean, I was negative in this bank account. I said, man, I'm negative. You know what I'm saying? Hey, get the checks. I wrote them out. I said, $100,000. I'm going to have this G-Wagon, Mercedes, G-M-G. I'm going to have this Maserati. I'm going to have seven cars, baby. And I'm going to pay them. I'm going to pay for them. Cash money. Cash money. Here are the checks. When I go shopping, I'll go shopping whenever I want. We we'll spent 50 grand in Paris. I wrote that check out. Louis Vuitton, $20,000. Prada, $10,000. I used to write these checks out. One day I'm going to show you these checks when I find them. And when I did that, guys, my mind was. For 30 days, do, do for 30 days. My mind wasn't thinking about like bills anymore. My mind, I was motivated. I was like, checks, 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 checks. Repetition is the mother of skill. Whatever you see, whatever you hear, continuously, consistently, is what your reality starts to become. See, this is why my life is so fucking good. It's like nothing never goes wrong in my life. People look at me and say, damn, are you ever upset? I mean, are you ever like mad? pissed off not really no because <laughs> I, every day i'm just look at look because you know what i'm looking at my beautiful home guys look at it it's eight thousand square foot guys technology home i can control this entire home from my laptop and from my iphone royal oaks right mcvall realty that's the guy's gonna build my home it's gonna cost me eighty thousand dollars for the blueprints we already started on that blueprints guys cost eighty thousand dollars isn't that crazy right gonna have a beautiful pool in the back gonna be gorgeous i'm gonna give you a chance to invite you out to come celebrate with me but not just celebrate my success celebrate yours it's gonna take two years to build do this for the next 30 days guys you won't stop i haven't stopped it's like four years now and i'm still coming out of here because it's habitual it's like I don't I don't feel right if I don't come out of here. I wanna stay, I wanna see it. I'm like, cause this is where I belong. People believe this is where I belong. So well, we have those things. Guys, if you have any questions, any questions, I appreciate you for coming. Please share and like this video now for me. I'm asking you, okay? Because it's one thing for me is to make a contribution to a world, but I can't do it alone. I need it with your hit, with your shares and your likes. I create more videos, okay? If you're on YouTube right now, please share this video. Please like it. Okay? Does it make sense? As you can see, when I make this video, this is just me being consistent. This is my passion. But I am building something. This is a this is a brick. You know, people ask me, how did I do it? How do you do it, Wes? How do you do it? Fuck work. Dream build. Every day, go to the dealership. Go drive the car of your dreams. Every day, go out there and go see the house of your dreams. Every day, go see the school that you want your child to go to. Every day, you know, go out there and go look at a timeshare. Maybe some properties that you want to build or maybe that you want to invest in. Just go out there and do something different. Break the rules. Be irrational. Let me show you, irrational people, they're not rich. Irrational people, they're rich. They're wealthy. Irrational people? Oh. oh. People that are rational, people that are logical, people that are professional. <laughs> Who wants to be this? No one. So, guys, do you have any questions? Did you win the lottery? No, Nikki, I did not win the lottery. <laughs> I own different web internet sites. Anybody have any questions before I leave? Wait, do you still have your coaching program? Um, well, yes and no. If you're interested in my coaching program, it's $1,000 per month. It will be going up next year to $5,000 per month um, because of the amount of work I have to put in. But before I do, I need to interview you. You're going to interview for my staff to make sure you're a good fit, okay? Okay. I like that God is good to you. Guess what, David? God is good to you. Guys, let me, let me, don't get this twisted. You know what I hate sometimes? Even though I know people say it to me out of love, man, you're so lucky. You're so blessed. You're so fortunate. Shut, shut that shit up. No, I'm not so fortunate. 
No, I'm not so blessed. I worked at it. I believed. I worked at it. I believed. Don't think that I'm different than you, man. Woman, I'm not different than you. I got arms, I got fingers, I got a mouth, I got teeth, I got a voice, and I got a brain. It's no different. Don't is different, it's just my behavior. Don't think that's different, I just choose to do things differently than the masses. But you're blessed too. But you gotta work on that blessing. You gotta work on that skill. Does that make sense? You cannot take a seed outside and put the seed in the ground and never water the seed, never nurture the ground, never pay attention to it. It'll never grow, ever. It doesn't matter how hard you believe, how passionate you are. If you're not doing the work, it never happens. Thank you, Ron. I appreciate you. How can I do an interview? I wanted to pay a thousand a month, bro, and I'm committed. I love it. Hey, just um, just send me a. <clears throat> send me a um, email, or better yet, just send me a, um, a Facebook message. Somebody get back to me, and we'll set it up, buddy. Did you get shot? <laughs> no, I didn't get shot, man. I'm good. Um, any more questions, guys? I hope. What's up, Adam? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right. Hope you guys all got some value from this video. This is Western the Million Dollar Version. If you have any questions? You can always watch the playback. Please share and like this on your video if you have any love for me. If you don't, it's cool. If you want to just sit here and keep watching me and not show me any love, it's okay. But I'm asking you from my heart to do that share now and like my video now. Just asking you to do that for me. It's just so I can be able to spread my message, be able to contribute to the world. I would do the same for you. Trust me. If you're doing the same thing, I would definitely do the same thing for you. Hey, guys. This is if you don't have any questions here. This is Wesley multi-millionaire version and telling you don't give up on the dream imagine every day for the next 30 days go out there guys i swear to god just go out there man go out there and experience opulence experience the houses go look at a house that's five million ten million dollars and just go there every day go in the neighborhoods talk to the people smile say hello people will teach you how to smile some of you guys frowning every day you gotta learn how to smile rich people they smile every day the ones I know. Second thing, keep the bills out of your view. Put checks. It doesn't matter if these checks are going to bounce. Don't cash them. Just see them. See them. Write them out and see the checks, okay? And that's it. That's it, guys. Much love. Get fit with. Later.